what would you tell what would you tell somebody you know who asks you if they should become an entrepreneur with their own startup uh, so in general i always say yes you should do it <laughs> it's a smaller risk than people think i believe people think i'm uh, making a startup it's a it's a huge risk for me financially in terms of time and so on i believe it you learn so much and the worst outcome could be that you don't make it and then you get a job and you do something else. To me, it's not the end of the world. I think everybody could take this risk if they're up for it. Um, and here uh, we have the startup environment where actually I go also to other startups and talk to them how, how they solve certain problems. And uh, at any given point of time, people also come to us and they ask us, how, how did you do this? How did you do that? Should I do this at all? So we have this environment where I also always say, you know, you, you ask me, I'm one person, go to these three other startups, talk to them. They might have very opposing views from mine and then make your own mind. I don't want to be the one who says you do this or you don't do this. It's in the end, up to the person. And it's also a nice thing at ETH Zurich. There are uh, 10, 20 other startups here on the campus. You can talk to anyone, and people are available, and people are supportive. So I, I think that way you, you learn much more what a startup is like because in the end every startup is a bit different and it's also how how you as a person approach a startup some people love it some other people don't we also had people who worked for our company and they decided not to continue working anymore because they felt this is not an environment for us and that's also fair enough so for me just saying yeah you have to do it uh, i mean in my case it works but not for everyone. <laughs>